Hello everyone and welcome to another part of Dragon Quest 3. In the last part, we started Jimmy Tower and now we're going to complete it. I just rested at the end so all of our HP and MP are full. And you have some of the same enemies that we fought in the last part and we get the first attack. Sometimes it's random, sometimes you get the first attack, sometimes they get the first attack. But fortunately, this time we get the first attack. Alright. Sweet. Alright, let's finish this up. And there we go. And Sakura reaches level 4. Nice. Something happened where my emulator decided to randomly close on me. So I didn't get the clear to save state when I got to that end, so I had to play through that chunk of the game again. It wasn't too bad, honestly, but it was just a little annoying. But I managed to keep everyone at the same level they were when I entered that part. And one of my tips is that, try not to conserve your MP too much. But if you if you're like me and your spellcasters have like tons of it for where you are in the game, then just use it as much as possible to get rid of the enemies quicker. But if you don't have as much, then like use it, but like, just try to keep a good balance is what I'm trying to say. But if you have a lot like me, then go nuts. Pretty sure that's everything on this floor. Probably heal Vince. Probably heal Vince. All right, and there we go. Yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah. That ends, alright. Let's go to the next level. Alright, this is kind of a tricky situation. Pun unintended. Uh, I'm just gonna focus on the trick moths because they can cr cast around and will decrease your it will decrease your accuracy by a lot, making your physical characters miss a lot. Doesn't really, isn't really that bad for mages because accuracy doesn't affect how much spells hit. There's a different side for that, I believe that's resistance. So you don't they don't have to worry about that as much. And then Vince reaches level four. Nice. I've actually been playing quite of earth quite a bit of earthbound lately, so the menu like the menu patterns, like I'm gonna, I might mix it up with that game from time to time. So more of the same enemies, same strategy, same strategy. Just focus on the stronger ones, and then kind of pick off the weak. Whoa. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> All right, we are going to heal right away. I didn't. His health, like, went down faster than I expected it to. Okay, we're good. That was close. Alright. Keep on going. Hope I don't miss any chests in this place. I have 316 gold, not bad. Right, pretty easy encounter here. Level 
another hat. No, oh, I think I might actually be able to use it. Yeah, let's go equip it. Why not? Cool. I don't know what the uh, drop rates are, but I know if there's like one item that would one key. I well, it's not technically a key item, but there's an item later that has like a really low chance of dropping that you can just get elsewhere. I'll get into that when we get to that part. Anyway, as you saw there, the enemy got in the first strike. As opposed to as opposed to us getting the first strike. So, like I said, that can happen. So just be prepared. It's always why it's a good idea to heal. Heal up after every battle. Yeah, it's not really, like I said before, there's not really a lot to say in these battles that haven't been said before. So I'm sorry if the commentary is kind of dull. And there's some stairs up there. And there's a chest over here. I think the stairs that we saw earlier lead to another chest. We'll come back for that. More monsters. Yeah, I don't think I need to heal. We're gonna be good. And Red Noir reaches level 4. And Sakura reaches, Sakura reaches level 5. Pretty cool. Two level, up, two level ups after one battle, that's neat. Yeah, since I have the Valiant class, not class, Valiant personality, the hero has like pretty decent HP. Actually, what's his max MP? I, I've never really had this personality before. I had it, I got it during a test playthrough, but his max MP is 10, so eh, that's, that's fairly decent. Found the small metal. Pretty cool. Okay, so I was wrong. The, uh, the stairs downstairs, stairs downstairs, the stairs to the south, and the ones we're supposed to be going to. attack in. I'm not gonna cast spells with Zelda because she's low on MP right now. And Zelda reaches level 5. And she learns Upper and Ice Bolt. And these two spells and the official translation Upper is called Oomph and it increases your attack and Ice Bolt is called Crack. It's a ice attack. Pretty self-explanatory. And that's actually much more powerful than Frizz. So, when I refill her MP at the end, I'm gonna be using that instead of Frizz for the most part. Oh, you know what? Why not? Let's just use it now. Just to demonstrate how strong it is. Oh, that's not good. I 
As you can see, Vince's agility as a fighter is kicking in. So there's ice pull 27 damage, which is quite a lot for this part of the, for this part of the game. She's gonna defend, because I don't want her dying. I'll have her defend again. I think Frizz will just work on the either. And oh yeah, that's something I forgot to mention. You can actually attack your own team. You might be thinking, why would you want to attack your own team? Well. There's stuff like confusion, and if your team member gets hit, it might snap them out of that, so that's why you might want to do that. Hopefully that won't happen a lot. Okay, that's the mini middle chest that we got, I was about to say. We'll open that chest. Trick Moth. Uh, uh. I'm getting rid of these guys as soon as possible. Okay, so at least the hero is ineffective. Never mind. Yeah, that's not good. Um, should be able to finish this soon if we just cast spells. Actually, should have cast. Should should have had the hero cast blaze. Oh, we actually landed an attack. So yeah, the hero can cast offensive magic. He's kind of, like I said, he's like almost like a jack of all trades with an emphasis on physical attacks. But he can also heal and cast offensive magic just in case something happens to your mage, which is pretty cool. I like to use him as a backup healer later in the game. Hmm. Might as well just go all out. Good. No surround. Never mind. Okay. Heroes aren't effective. That's good. Never mind. Oh, critical hit from the mage. Didn't expect that. Think this goes up? Yes, it does. Alright. Finally, Red Noir, you have come. My dreams told me that I should hand this key over to you. Will you please accept it? No. I guess they were just dreams after all. <laughs> I just want to see what happens if you say no, but we have to say yes. By the way, there exists books. There exists books that are capable of changing your personality. If you find one, I, re I would recommend reading it. Continue on your way, Red Noir. I'm going back to sleep. I'm going back to sleep. Relatable. Look at the Tomboy book. And there's nothing on the shelf. The Tomboy book is pretty useful if you have a female fighter or female warrior. Which we don't have. I have a male fighter. This on my first playthrough. I actually chose a female fighter. But anyway, we have more enemies to fight. Hmm. Oh, Vent's got a critical hit. Now, when we come across any seeds of luck, I'm gonna give it to him so his critical hit rate can be super high. It's always fun seeing your fighters land critical hit after critical hit. I think, uh, hmm, pretty sure there's a chest I missed somewhere. 
Yeah. Uh... There shouldn't be much of an issue. My memory is kind of foggy with this place because it's at the beginning of the game and I haven't played this game in about a month. Oh, there is a chest. I was right. Wing of Wyvern. Okay. Not as not as good as I thought it would be. Oh well. Anything in here? I'm pretty sure that's just a staircase we used to get to where the old man is. Yeah, I think we're good for now. Actually, we could just walk out this door. Is there anything up here? Oh no, it's just these the other part. We're gonna fall off. We're gonna end up outside the tower, we can just walk back in. And we're gonna stop at the end so we can fill the HP and MP. Alright, so let's head back out. If you remember, we went to the left and we came down this way, but we haven't gone to the right, so let's see what's down here. Anteaters, honestly, I'm not gonna... Well, actually, we're almost fun done exploring this place, so it doesn't really matter, honestly. I was gonna say I wanna conserve my MP, but... <clears throat> Like I said, we're almost finished with this place, so not really much of a point to that. I guess we'll just go all out. Since we have the Thief's Key, we can open red doors. And we are actually... This is jail. Dr. Preston will speak, through them, speak to them through the bars. We are actually back in Aliyahan Castle. And there are some things that we can get that... We weren't able to before. I'm not allowed to leave this castle town because of bear mouse. I can't take it anymore. Every day is the same here. I tried sneaking out once, but my father ended up catching me. Relatable. You know, with all this quarantine and stuff. So we got the mini metal. We can't access that yet, but we will be able to a bit later in the playthrough. Let's see what this guy has to say. Ah. I served, I served in a castle Leohan for over 10 years now. I always dream of becoming a scholar of my, but failed my entrance exam. I may have done better if I read the smart book. Yeah, that's one of the personality changing books. Pretty good for your uh, mages because it increases their intelligence, I believe. I might just be assuming that because of the name, but intelligence affects how much uh, MP you have, which is why I gave him so many uh, intelligence seeds. This is a door we could actually open before. It's just the red doors that you need the thief's key for. And adult herb. The magic ball is capable of breaking down, Stacey. So Breaking down walls, they say. Are you here to see me? Oh, you've only come here by chance? You see me? Well, I have something to tell you anyway. There was once a traveler's door in the far eastern regions of Aliahan, but I hear it's been sealed off ever since the war. So, yeah, those are some hints to where we need to go. I mean, not really where to go, but just in case you're wondering who to talk to to know where to go next, well, there you go. I don't know, I, f I don't remember like all the NPCs that give you hints to where to go, but I do remember most of them, or majority of them. So that's that. 
There was something that I could have done, but I think I'll wait to do that. But there's one more thing that we have to get in this place. Oh, the frog quickly dodged. Three damage for Zelda. And Renoir reaches level 5. And we learn heal. Pretty cool. Already checked out the the chest to the left. And Sakura reaches level six. And learn speed up, which is accelerate. It increases the speed of one party member, which is pretty useful if you just want to kill a boss before it, it kills you, or if you want your healer to get in your spells before the boss can do immortal damage to one of your uh, party members. Open the chest and we get a wooden helmet. I'm pretty sure this is better than the leather one. It is. Alright, so we're gonna trade that with, I guess, the Tomboy book. So there we go. And then this one we have the Agility Seed. And I'm gonna give this to Vince because I just want his agility to be through the roof. Same with his luck. These stats are- oh, three points, not bad. These stats are inherently high since fighters have high agility and high luck for critical hits. But I just want to boost them even further. And we're out. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for this part. I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next part, we're going to check out the Traveler's Door that everyone's been talking about. Again, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you. I'll see you in the next one.